I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hello, you're, you're watching, watching HEC News. News. I'm Riley. And I'm Bryson. And here's what we're going on at Hudson Academy. Testing season is upon us. Make sure you're getting plenty of rest and eating a good breakfast. Today is 6th grade ELA. Tomorrow it's 7th grade's turn. A reminder that in the Media Center is closed for the school year. Please make sure you return all books by this Friday, May 5th. Teachers, during testing, please use the lab door entrance to access the workroom in the Media Center so that there are less distractions for the students. Your key should open the doors. Make plans now to come out next Wednesday, May 10th, for our next Locomo Skate Night from 5.30 to 8. May 16th, mark your calendar and come out and hear the HSC band and chorus. They'll be performing in the HSC gym at 7 p.m. Your books will be here soon. Make sure you have yours reserved at purchase by purchasing through the parent portal or the front office. The price is $30. There are a lot of fun things coming up just for 8th graders. Starting with Brad Venture at Universal Studios on May 13th, the cost is $175. Followed by the 8th grade picnic on May 18th. The cost is $10. Then on May 19th, there will be an 8th grade dance. This will is a semi-formal event from 6 to 8 p.m. and $10 a ticket. 8th grade shirts are also on sale for $10. All 8th grade activities or items must be paid for no later than May 12th and can be purchased through the parent portal or the front office. Now here is our last ATP video of the year. Do you sometimes wonder what would happen if we ever had to leave campus during the school day because of an emergency? I know we all participate in school safety drills each month and we are taught to run away from danger. Some of the things I think about is, where should I go? Is my teacher coming with me? How will I get home? Will my parents know how to find me? No need to worry. Our school has a plan to make this all go much smoother. It is important that we all understand what will happen if we have to leave campus during an emergency. Our school has a reunification plan that will take us away from danger and reunite us with our parents or guardian. The most important part of the plan is to always follow instructions from your teacher or school personnel because they will be providing you with important instructions on how to stay safe throughout this process. It is okay to feel a little anxious, but it is important that we listen so we can get you to a safe place quickly. You do not need to worry about your books, backpacks, or other personal items that may be in your class or locker. Getting these things will slow you down. We will be able to go back and get these things later. Our school has a designated a safe area off campus that is close enough for all of us to walk together. We will have help and guidance from school staff and police or sheriff's deputies in leading from the school to the safe assembly area off campus. Always listen to the instructions from your teacher or police while walking to the assembly area and be sure to stay together. Think of it as a quest and we must go get to this, our safe assembly base for our next instructions. Once we are all at the assembly area, we will find out if we will be able to go back to school or if we will be able to go to another place so our family can come and pick us up to go home. If we need to go someplace else for our families to pick us up, the school will have buses come and get us and they will tell our families where we are going so they can come pick us up. When we arrive at our pickup place, we will be told where to go to wait for our family's arrival. A school staff member will come to get us when our parents or guardian arrives. They will ask us if we are okay and we, they will bring us to our family member. It may take some time for our families to get there, but be patient because soon we'll be on our way home and we will be able to tell our families about our day. The important thing to remember is that everyone is working to keep us safe and ensure we either go back to our school or get reunited with our families. The school has a plan, so if you talk to your families and let them know the school has a plan, they will let them know where to pick us up. We need to listen to the school staff, stay together, and be patient. It will be quite the adventure to tell our families about later. I know events like this can be scary and confusing. That is why these plans and discussions are necessary. The school will keep us safe and help us get home to our families. It is up to us to do our part and treat it seriously. In sports news, the next track meet will be this 
will be tomorrow, May 4th, at Mitchell High School. First event is at 5 p.m. Student athletes, make plans to attend this year's sports banquet, May 9th at 6 p.m. You may bring two guests. Please RSVP to Miss Hulak or Mr. Jones. In weather news, we have partly cloudy skies with a high of 78. Time for a fun fact. Did you know that your fingernails grow faster when you're cold? That's it for today's news. Have, have a great day. day. Remember, Remember Bobo's are engaged, innovative, reflective, responsible, and confident.